Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an arena tank game on scratch. So there's two players and both of them are controlled by a keyboard. The red tank uses WASD and the green tank uses arrow keys. The one who shoots the other tank first wins. So to start off, make a nice backdrop. So ma make sure you have borders and pillars of any sort. I've had mine in the same way I have here and then we have six sprites to make one of them is the body of the tank and then the turret same for the next and then we have the two bullets so I have already drawn the tanks and I've kept them in my backpack so I drew the tanks body by making a rectangle and then making two ovals uh, you can do the same if you want. Or you can design your tanks in a better way. Uh, make another one of a different color. I've chose red and green. And then make the turrets. So the turrets, in my case, are just a red or a green a rectangle. But you can keep it in any way. And make sure the turrets are separate from the tank. So let's make it here. And... Let's put this here. Now you, it's good to rename your sprites. So you can name this red tank. You can name this green tank. And you can name this red turret. And green turret. And now we need the bullets. The bullets are just uh, black circles. Uh, we can... I've already made one in my backpack. It's just a black circle. Um, and also make sure all of these are centered. We might change the locations later. But for now, just keep all of these centered in the center of your canvas. So let's just duplicate this. Let's name this green bullet. Even though it's not green. And red bullet. Okay. So to start off. We must make the tanks being able to move. So let's go to the tanks code. Let's just make it go here first. It's so the green, the red tank. Let's make it go here. Uh, all of this is just a mess right now, but we'll uh, put it in the correct spot. So let's do point in direction zero so that it points up. Point in direction zero. Yeah, for the turret, but we need to do this for the tank. Uh, let me just get this here. Let's so point in direction zero. And then we go to around somewhere over here. Let's do this location. Okay. I'm gonna feed in a location, which I've noted down before. But you can do it according to your liking. For me, this is good. And we need to make it move. So let's do... Let's first set up the green tank as well. So let's do... When clicked... Go to... Oh... Uh, I'm gonna do like 187 and... Minus 134. And also make this point in direction 0. And now we have two tanks set up. We must do this for the turrets. For the turrets, it's going to forever go to the player tank, so we'll do those later. Let's just make the tank being able to move right now. So let's do a forever loop. And in that forever loop, if the key W is pressed, so we're doing the red tank right now. So first, let's uh, see the, all the controls. Let's note down all the controls. So the player one control will be red tank. And that will have WASD to move. And let's do Q and E to turn the turret. And let's do press F to shoot. And for player two, the green tank. Let's do arrow keys to move. 
and the the keys closest to it is the M and N key. So let's do M and N to turn turret and the L key to shoot. So we have these controls noted down. Now we just need to put them in program. So let's do forever when the W key is pressed. So key W is pressed. Then we move three steps. It's just going to go forward by three steps. And let's do key S. Minus three steps. So now we can move forward and backward. I think I did it. Yeah, it's okay. And now let's make it turn. So the D key and the A key. The D key will be right turn 5. And the A key will be uh, left turn 5 degrees. So let's try that out. Yep, you can turn now. Okay, but now we can um, go through walls and stuff, so we need to, we're basically going to put the maze program code inside here, so like, it doesn't go through walls, so let's do if, it's touching color, the wall color. Or it's touching the tank. We also don't want it to go through this tank. So let's do or touching player 2 tank. Or green tank. Or touching green tank. Then here we're going to do minus 3 steps. And... We also don't want it to be able to turn inside, so let's do, for S, let's do three steps, and for the turning, we should do the turning in opposite way. Oops, I accidentally removed that. Uh, not sure why this is back. Uh, yeah, we need to turn the opposite way, and here we also turn the opposite way. Let's do this way. Okay. So now we can't go through walls. Yep. We can't also go through the border because it also has the same color. Okay, let's check if it's able to go through the other tank. Uh, yep, it doesn't go through. Okay, so our code works so far. Let's do the almost the same thing for the green tank. So to make things uh, faster, you can just uh, drag your code inside here. And then it just copies the whole thing over here. Uh, the, the, the position, we should change it to the, the, the correct one. And uh, direction is zero again. But now we have up arrow key, same code. Except this will be red tank. Down arrow key. Oh, yeah, same code. And this will be a red tank. This will be left arrow. And red tank. Oops, red tank. And this one will be the right arrow. Let's make this uh, red tank. Okay, I don't know why this is in, isn't inside of here. I must have forgot. Yeah, so put this inside of here. Yeah. Should be fine right now. Yeah. We didn't see any problems before because we didn't use it. But yeah. Oh, uh, that should be inside of there. Now for the turrets code, it's always going to be uh, to the tank. So, yeah. We can put the, the point in direction 0 in the start. And forever. 
it's gonna go to the red tank but not right now it's like inside we don't really want that so right right here we just move the can from the canvas just keep pressing the uh, right arrow key and it's gonna move and yeah we kind of got it right here we kind of got the position um i'm gonna just copy this over here and i'm gonna turn this into green just click this we get the color and then put it here okay cool so yeah just do that make both of them uh make both of them a bit away from the cross from the center cross and it should be fine and let's get back to the turret code so you point in direction zero go to the tank and then if we press the key so we just basically put this code here as well because as the tank is turning the turret turns as well it's just part of the tank except we have different sprites for it and it's also being able to individually move that's why we have different sprites for it let's do if key d pressed so basically the same thing again uh key d pressed then let's turn five degrees we need to put the same values because otherwise it's not going to turn the same as the same amount as the tank so for this it'll be five degrees this way and let's do oops let's do yeah we don't need the we don't need to put the move thing key because it's already always going to it yeah now it works the turret moves with the tank um and then let's do the same for the green tank just put this here and let's forever do go to green tank should work oh yeah we forgot to put the arrow keys thing um d key will be right arrow and a key will be left arrow so yeah it works so now we have our moving tanks and let's just put the shooting in so but before we put the shooting in we need to make the turret be able to move individually that's actually really easy uh for this let's do a q key as we mentioned over here we did a q and e key q and e e is gonna turn this way so let's not make it turn as much as the tank because that's a bit too much i'm gonna do like three degrees yeah oh let me put this here as well okay for here it's um n and m so this will be n and this will be m and now should be able to move the turret individually yep it works okay so let's get to the shooting port so first we need to broadcast the shooting so here let's do if key f pressed then it broadcasts um shoot let's do like shoot green or let's do shoot red so the red shoots it doesn't shoot red but the red shoots oh it's kind of confusing but yeah and we don't need this thingy and let's put this over here um for this it's l so let's do shoot green so we don't shoot green the green shoots and here in the red bullet cord uh so now we have to work with clones and some variables because uh we can't we need to clone it every time or we could do it without clones but it's better to do it with clones so let's make a variable called if player one shot or not to so player the or the red tank red tank shoot 
and then we we have this as a variable you don't need to show it so first we set it to false okay now let's hide because we don't need to show the actual thing we're going to make clones of it and forever we're going to check if it's going to make clones or not so if player one shoot so let's do red tank shoot i keep calling red tank player one because it is player one um let's put this to true if it's true then it makes a clone then yeah let's make a direction uh variable and make it for only this sprite yeah okay we don't need to show it and let's set the direction to the direction of the turret so the red turrets direction we can get that by getting this block and getting the red turret and we can now choose direction and we can get the direction of the red turret now let's create the clone of ourselves and let's make it wait for like 2.5 seconds it's a cooldown before you can so that you can't spam shoot I put it at 2.5 seconds but you can reduce it or increase it um so yeah right now we're still doing on we still didn't get the we still didn't receive the thing and when we receive it all we need to do is just set the red tank shoot to true let's make this to true and now let's make the code for when the clone actually gets made so let's do when i start as a clone set let's do set player one not player one red tank shoot to false and let's show so now it shows because we need to show the clone otherwise it's going to be invisible and let's go to the player one tank so it's going to start from the tank so we can just go there go to red tank and let's point in direction of the direction variable so point in direction and let's do this variable and then we need to repeat this until it either touches the tank or the wall so if it touches the wall so we can do a repeat until function and uh, let's do until it's touching the wall so that will be this color and move 20 steps so it's going to be pretty fast so let's make 20 steps and let's do if if it hits the player while going to the if it hits the tank while going to the wall then it explodes or you win uh, we don't have an explosion animation you can add that let's do if touching player 2 tank uh where's yeah player 2 tank touching the green tank then it's gonna broadcast let's do like red tank wins okay and we delete the clone and let's do like the same thing for green tank but we change the variables and stuff just um oops i don't know what happened yeah just drag this in here uh i have two of these for some reason um just yeah just just make the same thing but for green so shoot green make another variable called um just make another variable called green tank shoot green tank shoot and let's set that to true here let's replace it with green tank shoot we don't need to show this for direction when we get this in here it already makes uh, its own variable and let's do 
yeah this is okay let's go to green tank let's make this green tank shoot and when it's touching red tank let's broadcast green tank wins and yeah i think everything seems fine oh yeah for this let's do green tank no not green tank green turret yep and everything should be fine now let's test it out um yep we can shoot let me turn the turret aim and shoot yeah the we didn't make the game over code yet uh, we should try that out. Uh, the the turret doesn't move, and the the bullet doesn't move in the correct direction. Uh, not sure why that is. Let's try it. The direction is. Oh yeah, it's the X position. We need to change this to the direction. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, for this it's direction, yeah, I must have accidentally changed it to X position. Anyways, let's try that again. I think, yeah, the shooting works. Yeah, I think it works, so let's just make the end screen. So, yeah, just make it so that if green tank wins or if red tank wins. So when start, we just set the backdrop to what it is right now and we need we can just like make another backdrop or you can make like a whole epic end screen or something but for now i'm just gonna make a simple um green tank wins or something let's do green tank wins and let's make a red tank wins red tank wins To make this red so it actually makes sense okay cool let's name this red win and the green win so that as in green wins let's make this red win let's make this green win and we should stop everything or stop all the code so we can cannot play it anymore so let's try it out first let's make the red tank win um yeah i'm gonna aim my turret and yep red tank wins and we can't move the tur tanks anymore and now let's do let's make the green tank win so let's shoot yep green tank wins so anyways if you enjoyed the video then leave it a thumbs up and please subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye